Hello friends, welcome to Libya Do Mathematics. The problem today we are going to discuss is a problem from Eskemapa Higher Algebra. One of my viewers requested me to solve this problem in comment section. Okay, so I am solving this. The problem says if A, B, C are subsets of a universal set S, then one if A union B equals to A union C and A intersection B equals to A intersection C, then prove that B equals to C. And the problem two if A union B equals to A union C and A dash union B equals to A dash union C. Okay, here dash stands for complement. Prove that B equals to C. If A symmetric difference B equals to A symmetric difference C, then prove that B equals to C. Okay, so now let us solve problem 1 okay so we have to prove that b equals to c under the given conditions okay so we can write b equals to b union a intersection b okay so now why because look at this venn diagram okay suppose this is our s and this is a and this is b okay so this circle stands for b this circle stands for a okay then this region stands for a intersection b okay and this back colored region stands for b okay so look b can be written as b union a intersection b okay so that is why we have written b equals to b union a intersection b now what is given a intersection b equals to a intersection c so in place of a intersection b put a intersection c okay now by distributive law we can write this as b okay so b union a intersection b union c okay this is by distributive law okay we can write this by distributive law okay now look what is given a union b equals to a union c so put in b union in place of b union a put a union c because a union b equals to b union a okay so we can write a union c intersection b union c okay now again by distributivity we can write this as a intersection b union c again this is by distributivity okay so we have now a intersection b union c okay now what is given a intersection b equals to a intersection c so a inters in place of a intersection b plot a intersection c union c now again a intersection c union c this is equals to c and this is by absorptivity okay so now we have that we have started from b and now we have c so we have b equals to c so this is proved okay so now let us try to prove the second problem the problem is if a union b equals to a union c and a complement union b equals to a complement union c then prove that b equals to c okay so now the condition given is a union b equals to a union c now take complement on both sides then what we will have a union b complement equals to a union c complement okay so now by apply de morgan's law then we will have a complement intersection b complement equals to a complement intersection c complement okay so this is our relation one and again what is given that another condition given that a complement union b equals to a complement union c now again take complements on both sides okay so we have this now again apply de morgan's law then we will have a intersection b complement equals to a intersection c complement okay 
so this is our relation 2 now we are going to what we have to prove we have to prove that b equals to c okay so now we can write b as sorry now we have to prove that b equals to c so start from b complement so we can write b complement equals to b complement intersection s where s is the universal set now b complement intersection we can write s as a union a complement okay so b complement right we have written s as a union a complement then by distributivity we have b complement intersection a union b complement intersection a complement this is by distributivity we get this from this by distributive law okay so now b complement intersection a okay so look the at the relation 2 what is given b complement intersection a equals to this okay so write this in place of b complement intersection a so we write a intersection c complement union b complement intersection a complement now look at relation 1 b complement intersection a complement equals to a complement intersection c complement so we write this okay now again by distributivity we have a union a complement intersection c complement what is a union a complement this is s intersection c complement so this is s intersection c complement equals to c complement so now what we have we have now b complement equals to c complement now take complement on both sides then we have this okay so this is this means b equals to c so we are now done so we have proved that b equals to c okay so option question 2 is also proved now we are going to prove the third result if a symmetric difference b equals to a symmetric difference c then prove that b equals to c now two sets b and c are same so to show that we have to show that b is a subset of c and c is a subset of c so we have to show these two things okay now again what is the definition of a symmetric difference b this is something important so a symmetric difference b equals to a difference b union b difference a so this definition is important and one more thing that a symmetric difference b equals to b symmetric difference a so these three results will be helpful during proving this problem okay so now now let so we are now going to prove the problem now let x belongs to b okay so now two cases may arrive so case one x does not belongs to a and case two x belongs to a now in case one if x does not belongs to a x belongs to b and x does not belongs to a that's mean x belongs to b difference a okay now what this implies now x belongs to b difference a means x belongs to b difference a union a difference b because x belongs to this set implies x is in union of this set and something other set okay so we can write from here that x belongs to a symmetric difference b now what is given a symmetric difference in the problem it is given that a symmetric difference b equals to a symmetric difference c so we can write here this is equals to a symmetric difference b so this implies x belongs to a symmetric difference c now a symmetric difference c means a difference c union c difference a okay now what we have we have x does not belongs to a okay if x does not belongs to a so x cannot belongs to a minus c okay but x belongs to a union of a minus c and union of c minus a so 
and x does not belongs to this set that means a minus c so x must belongs to this set this implies x belongs to c minus a okay and c minus a is a subset of c so we have now that x belongs to c so x belongs to b we have started from here now we are x belongs we are here that x belongs to c so b is a subset of c so we have proved the one side that b is a subset of c so now let us move to case 2 okay so now we had x belongs to b and in case 2 we have x belongs to a so x belongs to b and x belongs to a means x belongs to a intersection b okay so x belongs to a intersection b this implies x does not belongs to a union b difference a intersection b okay so what we have now a union b difference a intersection b this is a symmetric difference b so x does not belongs to a symmetric difference b okay now if possible let us assume that x does not belongs to c so if x does not belongs to c what does it mean but x belongs to a this means x belongs to a difference c so this in turn implies x belongs to a difference c union c difference a so we can write x belongs to a symmetric difference c now what is given a symmetric difference c equals to a symmetric difference b so put it here a symmetric difference b so we now get that x belongs to a symmetric difference b but we already had that x does not belongs to a symmetric difference b so we arrive at a contradiction due to the fact that we assumed that x belongs to c a hey, sorry x i'm sorry x does not belongs to c so x belongs to c so we had that x belongs to b and now we had x belongs to c so b is a subset of c so in both the cases case 1 and case 2 we have shown that b is a subset of c in a similar fashion you can show that c is a subset of b okay by imitating the argument okay so we have now that b equals to c okay so question 3 is also proved so thank you friends for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends and stay tuned with us we will come back shortly with this kind of video again thank you don't forget to subscribe the channel